I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to the Nooner presented by the Village Poorhouse, where we always put our drinks down before we readjust our pistols. The latest on Plaxico Burris' self-inflicted gunshot wound. Burris initially told hospital workers he had been shot at an Applebee's, but fessed up when he realized that, though admitting to shooting himself would put him up against jail time, if he admitted to hanging out at an Applebee's, he'd face charges of being inexplicably lame. Burris probably knew his alibi wouldn't hold up as at the very hour he was shot, upstanding citizen and teammate Eli Manning was just sitting down for some mini chicken ranchers at the very Applebee's in question. Mayor Mike Bloomberg said the city would prosecute Plax to the fullest extent, claiming, quote, I don't think anyone should be exempt from the law. He added, except of course, me. Antonio Pierce, interviewed on WFAN yesterday, said, I don't want to sit here and defend myself. The people that know me, the people that understand who AP is, they know what I'm about. Those are the people I don't have to answer to. Unfortunately for Pierce, those people don't include the police, the prosecutors, or those crazy cats in the league office. Just one more quick footnote on the Giants. They're 11 and 1, by the way. The Jets, looking to bounce back from their ugly loss to the Broncos, are doing all the right things this week, including watching films, self-evaluating, studying the 49ers, and not hanging out at LQ. Meanwhile, coach Eric Mangini celebrated a delayed Thanksgiving, giving thanks that his fourth and one play action pass was only the second dumbest decision made in New York this weekend. A distant second. The Jets announced yesterday that they've teamed up with the Secretary of Agriculture to promote wellness in inner city schools. The program's number one tip, don't shoot yourself. After a much ballyhooed meeting with Donnie Walsh yesterday, Stefan Marbury will make like Isaiah Thomas and get paid a ton of cash to stay the hell away from the Knicks. Walsh has now banned him from practices and games. James Dolan took away his free HBO, and he was ordered to hang out in the VIP area of the LQ, just in case a random bullet flying around could solve everyone's problems. Ooh. What? Classless gun joke, you say? Well, check out this quote from Marbury about his teammates. They left me out for dead. I got shot in the head by my own guys in my foxhole, and they didn't even give me an honorable death. Gee, I'm sure the boys from the 3rd Brigade 2nd Infantry Division in Iraq appreciate the comparison from a guy who suffers because he gets $21 million to wear a suit and sit down. That's our show for today. We'll see you today. Oh, come on, camera guy. Haven't we learned anything today?